Okay, here we go. This is lesson eight of how to draw a Ford Fusion. And as you can see, I started uh, working toward the back of the car some more. And I've gotten all the way down to the uh, rear door on the left-hand side. So um, that's where we're working on right now. I'm going to try and finish up the lower part of the car all the way to the, car, all the, way to the back. And then... Uh, Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to start on the upper parts of the car, the parts that are uh, in sunlight. So they're going to show a strong reflection from the sunlight, and uh, the lower parts are going to be kind of in shadow. So here we go. But it's really starting to look like the car now. I mean, instead of just a whole bunch of dots, it's, it's really coming together now as the car. So I think this is going to look great once it gets done. I'm very happy with the way it's going so far. And uh, again, what I'm doing here is I'm putting down the first layer of black or of black ink, and um, I'll come back and and uh, darken that up after I get it down. But but I, I always like to do a base coat underneath that. It's just like priming with a paint job. You always put a first coat down, and then after that you come back and put the second coat over it. To make the the density of color that you want in this case it's going to be pretty dark but uh, there's still going to be little reflections off the ground and stuff so you have to leave it somewhere a little bit lighter than than total black but not too awfully dark And here I am working just in front of the, the rear wheel well on the left-hand side. And probably off-camera, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll make that a fairly uniform color. And then um, we'll be able to start on top without too much trouble all by itself then. And things will start to really look good on it but as you can see we're going going great here now this is the part that I really love when the car starts to look like that car rather than just separate pieces of, of a car sitting there and uh, now if you look at it you can see that it, it's taking on the actual outside shape of the car too so that's gonna be good And working back to the back to the rear bumper. And I'm gonna leave the, the back a little bit lighter than, than the middle part, but it's because I, I may do a little bit of playing around with the color because it's on the outside. I may leave it just a little bit uh, lighter than the than the other part to show that that's a line of demarcation and I don't really want it to be totally black at the rear uh, because it's just it, then it makes too harsh a line so I'll probably soften that outside edge just a little bit or leave it a little bit lighter than than the interior parts but it's that's one of the things that you're going to do too is when you get down toward the end you're going to be able to fiddle one number one uh, color value against another one so that uh, it looks good in your eye so you can tell what what needs to be a little bit darker or a little bit lighter and then adjust them accordingly so that they they look like they should but here we go working on the mirror right now and Sometimes little things like that, like a mirror or uh, or something else, you know, little tiny thing that's on the outside. If you do that right, it just uh, it just sells your whole drawing as being correct. So um, I usually like to take a lot of time with the mirrors, and uh, especially the one that's the closest to the to the viewer's eye. That one is uh, very important because it kind of sucks your eye into the drawing, and you want to be able to see. Uh, details so that's what I, I do with it I'm gonna come back to that too um, 
again, I may do that before we, we actually start lesson nine, but um, I want to make sure that, that that is dark enough that that it, it drags your eye over to it and, and makes you take notice. Anyway, running out of time for tonight. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow, and uh, we'll do some more. Thank you very much. Bye.